However, you're looking at a 2006 Forest River Surveyor. And it's in real nice shape. It is a SV331 aluminum structure. So the aluminum structures are very lightweight and um, because of that they're popular not pulling a real heavy load behind you. And the aluminum structure is is better because it's not a wood structure. Lasts longer. Now this this RV is a repo. But uh, listen to the whole listing. Comes with a clear title and a temporary license tag. It has two slides on it, two power slides. One in the living room area and one in the bedroom area, making for a nice amount of room. Now inside, the colors are really good looking. It has a master bedroom with good looking cabinets. Carpet that's in good shape. No leaks in the roof. No odors. It has a couple small cosmetic problems. And I'll show you those firsthand. These doors are held by um, oh, little shocks. They need to be attached. All of them have come off. And the second cosmetic, this door needs to be rehung. It uh, you can see that the the hinge is loose right here. No water or anything. It's just the hinge has come off. So if you're a little bit handy. If I had a better screwdriver, I'd have done it myself, or a power screwdriver. Now here's a good thing about this trailer. It has bunks in the slide. Bunks are really popular. You could put two kids or two people on the bottom and one up top or that one up top folds up. Now we end up using ours for storage a lot. Uh, the top bunk and the kids sleep on the bottom. The rug is a little sun faded from the window there but it's not not water stained or anything. It's strictly sun faded. So we could clean it and it probably would come out pretty good, shoot some dye on it, or put a new piece of carpet right there. Or use it just like it is. I mean, it's fine. Close this window. So, here we have a little area for a TV, cigarette lighter plug. Also, while I'm thinking about it, it has ducted air and heat, which is a nice upgrade. Excuse me, comes out of the ducts. Now looking at the kitchen area, it has an RV, domestic, either gas or electric refrigerator in good shape, works fine. When you look at the stoves, we like to see a stove that was hardly used. And that's what this is. Ceiling's nice and white. Has a Magic Chef microwave. A little uh, DVD player or CD player there with speakers throughout the um, camper. Good looking sink. And this, uh, this sofa folds out into a bed also, as does the kitchen area. So you could sleep two on the bottom, one up top, three, two here, children's five. Two others here is seven, and two is nine. You could put nine people in here if you want to. It's got good storage. And both slides are power, by the way. So, got a nice light coach or camper at a reasonable price.
clean as a pin, no odors. Can knock it for anything. It's a little bit of faded carpet in two spots and the little cosmetic things. Also outside, it does not come with it. Looks like there's a spot for a cook stove outside that would slide in here. It is not with it. Can buy them at uh, uh, RV stores. And a little um, freezing of the decal just in this section here. I like to see that they've cooked outside. I always cooked outside in mine because I, I don't like the odors. Storage is nice, has a slide out bins. And then up front, we'll need a battery. It has a power power jack. Also, we'll need propane bottles and a battery. Propane battery, bottles and a battery to be on the road. Okay, so when you come pick this up as the buyer, you get a clear title, a bill of sale, and a 60-day temporary license tag to drive it home on or drive it around once you get home. Please do not bid unless you're able to finish the transaction. You'll need $250 at the end of the auction and then the balance is due within seven days. Now you don't have to pick it up for 30 days but the balance is due within seven days. So, let me give you the weight on this real quick. The unloaded weight is 6,500 pounds. Very light for a camper this size. The aluminum structure um, really makes for a nice light uh, camper. All right, so it is no reserve. The top bidder is going to get it. Um, again, please don't bid unless you're able to pick it up and, and pay the money on time doesn't take a heavy truck to, to carry it just takes a, you know, a regular 250 or higher and maybe even an F-150 4x4 or a big SUV would be fine with this so buy this Forest River also lastly if you're thinking about shipping there's a website called uship.com it's a letter U and SHIP.com you'll get your best deal there for shipping it's usually a dollar to a dollar fifty a mile depending on what price you get and where you live. So buy this camper. It's a nice one. If it's what you're looking for, you'll like it.